Are you tired of looking dark and ugly? Are you tired of I can't see you in the dark jokes? Are you too dark sometimes? People think you're a black cat and choose to not walk in front of you because of bad luck? Yeah, me neither. I don't know why I made that up. Today, I'm going to be doing a full face of skin whitening products. I picked up any skin product that insinuated skin lightening. And I'm going to roast the shit out of these shitty fucking bricks. So yeah, keep watching and you will see the end result for yourself. Welcome back, my super rat looking friends. So today, I'm going to be doing a full face of skin whitening, lightening products. Yep, it's like the worst video to make in this time and climate. I don't know why I come up with really bad video ideas in the worst time possible. That can literally put me on Twitter trending page. But anyway, I wanted to make this video for so long and talk about these brands and my problems with these brands and like a lot more things you're gonna see throughout the video. So I wanted to vlog the bit where I'm purchasing these items in the store. So I'm here in the skincare aisle. A lot of brands use words like tan removal and natural glow, but they have like skin whitening written in small letters that you really can catch it the first time. Look at this clear complexion whitening cream then there is the natural fairness papaya smooth white spotless white classic white white glow safe sun matte look daily sunblock they're selling sunscreen that lightens your skin what for a radiant complexion natural white glow radiant complexion white radiant white perfect whitening toner glowing fairness like laser treatment i want to fucking die not only do the women have to be white men have to be white too so i picked this up for my dad <laughs> to gift him and there is this fair meter. I'm not even in the scale. God, I want to be assassinated right now. Then we have the natural fairness, mercury free. And look at this. This, this hurts. This is so painful. Whose skin is that color? Wow. Whitening face scrub. Whitening face wash. Moving on to makeup. And look at these foundation sticks. That's chalk, mayo, ivory, and vanilla. And look at these powders. Wet and wild. More like wet and fucking blind. And these foundations. What? Who's who's wearing these? Oh, look. That's the Kardashians. That's Kylie, Kendall, Courtney, and Kim. What? And look at this. What diversity. I, I can't ever buy a foundation for myself. This is like a school picture they take for advertisements, but oh, we need a black girl for diversity. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's take the picture now. At this point, I'm not even shocked if condoms had skin whitening in them there's more skin whitening face wash milk whitening whitening face wash natural white whitening 10 fairness face wash so yeah i have a bunch of these products in front of me super excited to see what would come out of this video by the end of this video i want to be snow white right now i'm looking like cinderella's mouse friends that she had you know not the best but i want to be shining i want to be white paper white i bought a bunch of face washes toners a lot of creams to prep my skin before i get into the actual makeup so i'm gonna start off with this brand first it's called himalaya and it says since 1930 and it says tanned removal orange peel off mask one thing i've noticed yes they don't use the word whitening anymore skin lightening they want to be safe so they use the word like tanned removal glowing glow glow, glow hd, HD. Makes no sense. What the f is glow HD? Do you know the only time I've seen HD anywhere in my life is probably like a movie like, hey, you could watch this in full HD. What is glow HD? How do companies come up with that name? So you can see it says it removes tan and lightens skin tone. It has in, like tiny little alphabets down below so no one can tell what this brand stands for. And this is since 1930. What the f it wasn't like World War One going on at that time. Who was who, who was making this since then? What Gandhi was using this in his back bedroom? Like I, I just have so many questions. How is this a thing since 1930 until this day? It's still going on. This needs to stop. It removes tan and lightens skin tone. You can fade tan, but I don't think you can remove tan. I don't know why it doesn't have any peel off sticker. It smells good though. Okay, let me just put it on. Oh, it does have like honey consistency it has a color as well guys the worst thing is that when i go to these stores like if, for example let's say i'm hanging out with my friends and i'm going to the store and my friends are a bit like paler than i am and these employees would just target me because you know i'm a bit tan and they would be like hi do you want to try the skin whitening lightning shit i would be like what the fuck? They would just target you based on your skin color and they wouldn't like ask my friends, but they would ask me. And now because of COVID-19, thank God there aren't any employees outside hanging out. But before I would step into the aisle of skincare, this is what would happen. Skin lightening Try this hair. Skin lightening Try this, Try this skin hair and lovely. So, you know, thank God. Uh, when I went to the store to purchase these items, there was nobody next to me. I could just, you know, do my own thing. I'm gonna keep it on for 20 minutes. When that super ass Disney villain witch bitch asks the mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all, I should pop up. My face should be on the mirror, okay? So I'm gonna wait for like 30 minutes for this mask to dry. So I've had this on for 20 painful minutes. I don't seem to look any whiter, lighter. My skin, my face is the same color. It's also very, very sticky. It's like I have big jam all over my face. I think I have to go and wash my face. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, I don't see anything really. My skin is just really red. We're moving on to the next step face wash this is the nivea natural fairness face wash deep cleansing for fair skin vitamin c and vitamin e so it says your application use morning and evening you ugly dark black looking bitch 
Just moisten your face, apply a small amount of cleanser, and gently massage into a foam. I genuinely love Nivea. I used your body lotion and the creams, and I'm sure a lot of moms are watching this probably, and you have babies. How unfortunate, really. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still a big baby hater. Like, I hate babies so much. You know what? God's gonna punish my ass. I'm gonna get bad karma. I'm gonna get knocked out by some white guy and end up with like five babies and I'm gonna start a family channel and then my mom's gonna kick my ass out. It's gonna happen. This is gonna happen to me because I talk shit about babies way too much. But I'm pretty sure if you're a mom, you probably use like Nivea to butter up your babies. Cheeks. It's, it's such a nice brand like I love your lotions and stuff like that But it's so unfortunate how sad that they come up with literally a product which states natural fairness So this is what I use like on my body uh, It's really smooth nice and it smells really really good I'm pretty sure you're gonna wonder like how you've never seen this in shelves and aisles and that's probably because these brands They oh wow. I, I just noticed this. I still have a lot of face wash I need to clean this pretty positive that a lot of uh, Nivea products of fairness cream that I just showed probably really popular in a lot of stores in Middle East and region as well as like South Asian regions, but this is so sad. Like I'm so upset that I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Nivea on it. Like what? Because I'm just gonna wet my face really quick so that way I can just put on the face wash. How is this a face wash? I miss him. TikTok has ruined me. Oh my god. That's like my dad's air freshener he has in his Toyota Camry. Oh, oh say. Okay. It's not washing my face, it's just like a cream. Okay, maybe it's just a cream cleanser, maybe, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wash after this, I guess. Okay, so I'm back, um, still looking, I, I think I look tanner now. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal uh, White Perfect Whitening and Moisturizing Toner. This is from L'Oreal, this is so sad. So sad! I've seen a lot of threads on Twitter talking about L'Oreal and how they're like shitty brands, they test on animals and like whatnot. And this is just cherry on top, really. Uh, this is a whitening toner. That is, that's so funny. Presents white perfect transparent rosy whitening. Oh my god, they put rosy whitening? What the hell is that? Brands just don't wanna f say, you wanna look light bitch, get this. So they have like different words for that. Rosy whitening? What the hell is a rosy whitening? Whitening and moisturizing toner and it refreshes, tonifies skin instantly thanks to its pleasant and extra light aqua texture. Acid. This is me trying to write an essay, trying to hit that 5,000 marks. Okay, listen up. This I could have just summed this up in like a sentence. If I made this product, this would be my ingredient list. I got a cotton pad and I'm just gonna pour this right in. It smells good, but a lot of fragrance shit. Oh, so I'm just gonna tone up my skin. When I swipe, I wanted to take a layer of my melanin, but it's not really. By now, I should have been like stage four white antsy, but I'm not not even close, really. It's not helping. Mm -mm. Uh, moving on to, what is it, a cream? Oh, I don't wanna put this. It's so disgusting to look at. Look at this container. Who came up with this? This is called Dermo Viva Soft Moisturizing Cream, Saffron, Turmeric, Sandalwood, Face, Body, Hands for Fair Skin. We know this is straight up for South Asian people. Because holy shit, you can put turmeric on a lubricant and brown people would buy it. Look at the shape of the product. What is this? An octagon? Hexagon? A wastagon? Why is it bit like that? It, it looks like a cow's back. So I open it up. Sweet old lady scent. This is what it smells like. I'm put this all over my face. Okay. So this is another Nivea uh, hand cream that I purchased. It says, again, natural fairness, moisturizes and lightens licorice and berry extracts. Okay, we're gonna put this on. I really like how sleek and slim it is. Do you think this is a skincare routine for the evil witch in Snow White? Like, this is what she does to look fair? By the way, I just realized that what the hell was that Disney movie? Like, I love Snow White. She is adorable. I love that movie plot, whatever. Why was it revolving on fair skin? They should make like a modern Snow White movie. And the witch is like, who is the fairest of them all? And Jeffree Star pops up. What, what was that plot? And why did we think, mm? That, that's my favorite Disney movie. Things start making sense once you're an adult, really. Okay, guys, I really like the smell of this, but I don't like the intentions behind it. But anyway, so we're done with our handsers. They should be like white gleaming. They should kind of blend in with the wall. Moving on to our makeup. So I went to this shitty store. Every time I go to the store, there's always products everywhere. Skin whitening, lightening, lightening, whitening, glowing. For example, you see ordinary, you know, serums, and all of their descriptions are usually like how to brighten your skin, how to get that glow. But that skincare product is trying to work with what you have. And these products, when they say glow, they mean like, you fucking ugly brown black looking ass bitch turn white now this is what it screams when they say glow so this is a foundation that i picked up from guys it literally says dr rachel who who is this her brand like why does she have doctor on it this is a fix plus like mac fix plus this is a setting spray not a foundation guys whoopsies oh my god this is so beautiful holy shit this is so pretty next favorite top tier product it's fair and lovely heavily affiliated with them they're gonna sue my ass one day but we're gonna use like a layer of this. And for that, I'm gonna use this guy. This is the only appropriate product to use. This is how they actually ask you to use it. I feel like a lot of you don't know how to use it. So let's just, you know, go ahead and just paint it on. 
I feel like this is the evil witch's skincare routine. <laughs> Every morning she does this before she talks shit about Snow White to the mirror. So on top of this, I'm gonna go with my foundation. I don't know who came up with these brand names. It's called BB Cream Foundation. Quickest way to a flirty flush. What the hell is a flirty flush? And there's this girl. She literally looks like one of the colonizers. <laughs> She looks British. Is it the hat? Like she looks British for some reason. On the top it says spring for this foundation fates. What does this even mean? What is it fates? Or does it mean fatties? So spring for this foundation fatties. Walking with fashion, strong adhesion, cream beauty salon. I'm gonna mix it with this another BB cream that I got. I also got a CC cream, so I'm gonna mix everything, like a bunch of these. This BB cream says the quickest way to stay fresh, aloe vera, charm, beauty, salon, fashion. Spring for this foundation fatties. Again, it's just for fat people, I guess. I'm gonna mix in this aloe vera. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. And we have this. I'm gonna put this all over. Oh my god, I just painted my hands. This literally looks like a white person's hand. No. No. Oh my god. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? It's me, pussies. Bro, I'm gonna apply for a US visa, like a green card. I'm gonna take a passport picture like this. <laughs> so I just look white and they just let me in. The US immigration is scary all right first of all my parents named me like a fucking stripper right i just want to say a lot of new subscribers here my name is actually hansi twinkle they check my history my past they check my criminal records uh when i went to the u.s like twice honestly it's just a stripper name to be honest and being a person of color if i just <laughs> took a passive picture like this sweetie i would be in this is seven in one cc cream and it says waterproof spf 30 whitening anti-wrinkle moisturized more comfort nope it's pretty much the same beige color we used before but i cannot believe guys my hands they look white this is probably what snow white applies before she meets the stupid seven dwarfs you never know this is her skincare routine oh my god i, I cannot believe my hand okay they're ashy as but my hands are white guys please don't look at my nails i'm sorry okay so we're done with cc we're done with bb creams let's move on to concealer now this is one of those painful pen applicators concealer i picked up it says something called glow getter concealer stick <laughs> guys i just remember a stupid story you used to watch tom and jerry when you were young i used to watch michael jackson like my parents only made me watch him we were obsessed with his music videos and whatnot and michael jackson had a condition called vitiligo in which the pigment is lost in some parts of your skin your skin produces white patches all over your face remember i was so young and i remember looking at him like this and then one day he ended up looking like that obviously as a kid i didn't understand the concept of vitiligo i was like what does that mean how did you just change color <laughs> and i remember i asked one of my aunts why is he a different skin tone and she told me he used fair and lovely. <laughs> really thought in my head, this this tube really worked. And she's like, yeah, he used that and obviously he whitened his skin. Michael Jackson himself really increased the sales for fair and lovely. He probably helped boost the Indian economy, really. It's so funny. It's really just <laughs> painfully funny. Okay, and now we have to move on to contour. For that, I got this brand. Her name is Usha's. And this bitch has like the worst makeup products. I see her release something stupider every day. Every single day I'll go to the store and there's something worse than what I saw before. So this is a highlight and contour palette. That's it. The two shades. I, I'm not even gonna speak bro. I'm tired. So I'm just gonna use a white shade to highlight my under eye, I guess. Okay. So this is gonna go under my eye and this will be my contour powder. Okay, wow. I'm getting some color of my skin back. I'm gonna add some color to my eyes. I'm gonna contour my nose here. A little contour here as well. And moving on to some powder, I'm gonna bake my face with this powder. Again, it says only beauty, natural especially powder. Natural especially powder. I feel like a bunch of five-year-olds made this brand. Do they know what especially means? Oh my God, it's so smooth. Shit. Next, we move on to some, don't know what the hell is this. So I got this package, it literally says ginger in the front it says fantastic color land for a professional makeup artist compact powder 24 hours why do you have a picture of ginger on top of it oh my god <laughs> it's the size of my face bro this is actually it's, oh wow it is smooth as silk there's two of them Hello, is this a fair and lovely department? Uh, please go kill yourself. Oh, I bought two of this, by the way. I'm gonna use this all over my lid. Cancel out any darkness, any pigmentation, any melanin, any dark, any black. Oh yeah, that's gonna go. Imagine some guy thinks I'm like so hot from the back. Like, oh my God, she is so attractive. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for shadows, I got this palette. What the f is this brand name? It says eyeshadow designer. 
So someone's like, hey, nice shadow. What do you what do you have in your eyes? Designer, it's it's designer. I'm gonna use a brown shadow on top of it. Honestly, guys, you see any of these brands lying in your house, your daughter using it, your sister using it, your bus driver is using it, just take it, steal it, and throw it away. So I'm gonna use these lashes. They are from uh Blinksy lashes. Back in the day I used to be obsessed with lashes and I just I just fell out of it. So I'm just gonna paint the band. I'm gonna touch up my face a little bit with this powder. I'm like obsessed with this powder. I'm just gonna open it up. What's up? What's up? Welcome. I'm gonna use this blush. It's called ADS New Fashion Blush Up. And look at this mirror. Do, do you think a mouse is using this product? Like, I can't see my whole face in this. Hello? After that, I'm gonna use Fix Plus Pink, Pink Light Glow and Hydrate Setting Spray Mist to set this madness lab. This is what my color list looks like. Last but not the least, this really, really bad product. It's called ADS Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner. This reminds me of somebody, somebody we know. Yeah, fucking Kylie Cosmetics. They're, people are still making fake products of Kylie till this day. Oh, okay, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna line my lips first. Oh my God, this is literally a Snow White tutorial. Doesn't this bitch have red lips too? Oh my God, it smells like Elmer's glue. Oh, this is so bad. And to top it off, guys, I bought this Usha's Aloe Vera Magic Lipstick. And apparently this is aloe vera. 100% full on aloe vera. Man, as long as there are stupid customers, people will always produce stupid products, really. Who's buying this? Like really, who's buying this? Next. Okay, I think we're done. Shades, all right. This is my finished wall. This is my finished skin whitening products makeup video. Hopefully all you clown ass enjoy this video i'm a part of the crew now i am the clown leader i literally look like a clown get me that red nose and it's a finished product please let's boycott these products stop purchasing them stop giving them money so guys it's the finished makeup look hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe like follow my insta at twinkle i have behind the scenes posted in there i'll see you guys in my next video oh, that